Welcome to Pine Notes. My name is Lisa and this is the Circular Center. Virus Shaw. Crochet along or CC along with Lisa. That stands for Creative Crochet Free Forming. We are now basically off pattern for the center of our fall version of this. And we are now going to work the newest set of virus shawl pattern before we start making the armholes. So, as always, I request that you watch videos one through four, which are listed and linked below this video before you begin have all your supplies and again for the fall version in the Karen Cakes yarn you want to use a size K hook if you're following along with me if you want to use an L hook that's fine as well so join us gather your supplies and uh, we'll be talking adding on right here from the center, the mesh, and adding on to the virus shawl right before we do the shoulder work. So join us for episode five. Thank you. And through the magic, we will return. We are going to pick up right where we left off. And conveniently, my color did change to this nice lime green in my gelato Karen cake. And I am using a size K hook for this. So we're going to yarn over and double crochet right into the top of the stitch. We're going to single crochet, remove our pin. and go ahead and join these two right here and I'm just going to chain three right now all right so we finished up that now as a reminder from your basic pattern where you left off you should have the amount of stitches needed to fit the back of the person you're making this for or if it's for you enough to fit the back of you and I'm going to insert a picture from last episode of how many adults I have versus the children's one I'm making right here And that's how many stitches you use to make the back piece grow. We are now going to continue with the basic virus shawl pattern, which as a reminder can be found on my website, pinenotes.com, as well as a photo of the two virus shawl patterns together. And since we're starting again, I just want to give you a reminder that we are starting from 7. Remember, we do not do 10 like the original pattern. 7 just looks much neater than 10 does. And I want to point out to you, if you've been keeping your chains correctly, they're all going to line up in a row. And what's this? Yes, we're making a 
loop right here to match the one right below it. So if you ever need to check your work, just make sure it lines up here and it should be a loop right here and we're just doing one right now. When we get to this side, we're going to do two. So let's do this together. I already have three on the hook. I'm going to add four more to make a total of seven. One, two, three, four, and this time we're following the pattern. We're going to skip this right here and go into the next. Anchor it down and chain four. One, two, three, four, skip the next and anchor and one, two, three, four, skip and anchor. Here's your seven. Let's go ahead and put our safety pin in just so we remember where we started and I want you to count three two three and put it in that first three one more chain of four just like the pattern states one, two three four and four skip that space here we are, and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Skip the space, dive right in, and again, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, whoops, seven, stop. <laughs> there we are forming your two just as your pattern states so you've got your one when we come around here I'll tell you what to do with this one your three your two and now we're going to complete that doing the same thing so basically on the regular pattern you are doing this we are just doing seven three sets of four seven three sets of four seven and another seven so you're going to have double sevens if you go to the photo I took of this you're going to have double sevens here alright so after this meet me back where we began where your safety pin is. I just added on to our circular center virus shawl pattern in this gorgeous lime green all the way around and I wanted to bring to your attention that this is called CC along with Lisa that's creative crochet that's circular centered that's crochet cables this is a creative channel so we really don't follow a written pattern but we do make it work for you and your body type as a reminder, I am working on a child's size. Previously, I did a rainbow one with shawl and the ball for an adult size, small and medium. And the exact same thing happened that I'm going to show you here. And this is why I call it creative crocheting. In order to make our pattern work we need to fit it to our bodies sometimes that means we need to slip stitch over one much like when you make a snowflake or a granny square you want to slip stitch over so double check your work before you do this I've got my double set of sevens my threes double set of sevens 
threes, I feel like I should be rolling dice here. Double set of sevens, and one, two, three. Sevens, I just want to bring attention to this safety pin. I'm going to talk about it over here. I hope you are moving it up as we were working. Your threes, double sevens, three fours, double sevens, one, two, three fours, double sevens, one, two, three, and right back to the beginning here. All right, so before I do this, we double checked our work. And if I went as pattern, I would be going into this multicolor chain st stitch right here. Well, that would leave me just shy of one post. So I am going to extend it to the next one, which is the almost completely bright green lime one. And that will give me my seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and anchor down just where I need it right here. So my two sets of seven are together. So, if you follow along, two sets of seven, one, two, three. However, on the last stitch, because of the size that I am making, and this also happened with my adult size, small, medium, it's happening with the children's size, I need to slide over one and extend it over here to join it. So, I'm going to let you guys finish. And we will be right back so we can do our normal virus crochet right here. Right, you made your three. You skip two spaces here. And to equal a virus shawl pattern, because this is creative crochet, you can do anything you want. And what I am going to do, because here's my single strand of chains going through my work, I'm going to take that last set of seven and join it right where I started. The first chain of seven, slip stitch that on there. There you go and go right into making 10 double crochet for the second part of our pattern here. Remember, have fun with this. Don't sweat over it. It's just yarn and needles. You are making a beautiful, beautiful creation for you, for your friends. They're not going to sit there and count your stitches. I was talking to a lady. She emailed me and she had been missing row four of her items and I'm like you know what as long as you're consistently making the same pattern in the virus shawl and it looks pretty then that's your virus shawl that's how you make it this is supposed to be fun and creative so here we are let me count my double crochet one two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And remember, this is a crochet along because people were asking me how I made mine. And I'm not going to sit here and pretend to, to be a pattern writer when I'm not. This is how I made my rainbow one, which is sitting in front of me if you're wondering why I just pointed up there. Anchor down, chain four. Anchor down, chain four. And what is that? We have another anchor. Double crochet, two sets of seven. And I think you now get the idea where we're going with this. So I want you, before we forget, put that safety pin back in right on top of where you began. And do round two of the pattern around your piece of work. 
Well, welcome back. You've just completed round two of the virus shawl, doing ten all the way around, and I'm just about ready to anchor down and start the next set. So let's take out our safety pin, which marks our slip stitch spot which is also on top of our line of chains here if you ever get confused you want to slip stitch that very very last one down double crochet and right into the top and if you ever get confused remember you're doing ten so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's perfect. This is where we're going to double crochet in. And my blue jay does say good morning to you as well, if you can hear them out there. <laughs> some more yarn to work with here. And we're going to work the pattern just like the original all the way around. I'll work this with you, we'll anchor down, and then I'll meet you when we finish that. And let's count our stitches really quick as a double check. And remember, there's your first one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Here's your set of three, your two, and your last anchor to form that pyramid. So anchor down. One, two, three, four, anchor. And there you are. You're ready to double crochet right into the next set of 20, remember, all the way around. So meet me when you conclude. I'll insert pictures while you work. We've done our 10 here. We're ready to slip stitch it down. Chain 3. One, two, three plus one more for that space and we are getting ready to do what I call the start of the mesh stitches for the rest of the pattern. So we are going to stop this episode here with our mesh stitches and I want you to complete all of yours for round one and let's move our safety pin back up and meet next episode where we'll be doing more mesh stitches for the body of the work before the armholes. All right, as always, I thank you for liking, watching, and subscribing to this channel. This is Lisa from Pine Notes. Take care.